I represent him for the old folks, the bold folks, the trailblazers that had nothing but cards and dice. These baby video game masters that can sit and cry cause we were skin and oaks before you was a gleam in your daddy's eye. I'm representing once again fellow cyber dogs and fellow minecrafters and fellow mine squatches all over the world. And welcome to the third installment of 20 Minutes in Terra Firmacraft. And we, on this third installment, are going to finally start to be able to make use of all the progress we made in our first two videos. The first video covers a true 20-minute period. The second video covers basically a 40-minute period. So up to this point, we have an hour of play time in. And let's take a look at just how we're doing at this point. In our first tutorial, we managed to get ourselves into some safety in 20 minutes. We got ourselves food and safety. That was awesome. In our second one, we managed to learn how to do some panning and other stuff, and we managed to get enough ore to make these tools. Now it's time to put this stuff to work. Let's do it. We are going to take our saw. Oh, the reason we would make a saw first is just for what we're about to do. We're going to take that saw, and we're going to take these pine logs, and we're going to drop them in there. And do you see over here, it becomes pine lumber. So we're just going to grab as much of this pine lumber as we can make and stick it right there. And then we're going to... Put our pine log in there. We're going to stick our pine lumber in there. Because so what I'm doing right now is basically juggling spaces, but that won't be necessary in just a moment here. So there we go. Now we've got 32 of our pine lumber in here. We're going to take that, and we're just going to distribute it nice and evenly here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is what we're after, but you see we have some left over. So we're just going to you know, pick those up and place them and drop this dirt see if we can get that far enough away from us but let's just uh take and drop these into place here and we're going to get ourselves eight count them eight of these pine blanks now we are going to go one two three and four and there it is my friends a workbench so craft the pine planks from the pine boards and voila when we click it now we have a full crafting grid and this right here is so super epic, because now we're going to grab this hickory log, just because it's the next easy thing. We're going to drop it in here along with our saw. And we are going to just hit shift and make as many of those planks as we can. And we'll just stick them up here and move the saw down. We're going to take these, and we're going to go like this. Ciao. Now, what we've done is absolutely nothing. Well, that was, like, totally not at all what we are after. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, let's see, I'm going to drop this used shovel for a second so that we can take this chest and we can place it. We're going to put it next to the head of our bed here. Um, yeah, just right here for the moment. And we can finally now get some of this stuff out of our inventory. Let's get rid of this axe mold and uh, all this straw that I've collected over time here. Let's just let's just dump a bunch of crap out of here, just just to make a little room so we could we got room to maneuver. All right, let's let's throw the, those axes can't go in there, so that's okay. Um, we should keep some food handy. There's our cooked beef, and we'll put the seaweed in there and the jack o' lanterns. Okay, so there we go. Now that we've got that out of the way, go pick this stuff up. Do the same. Drop the dirt in there, and we'll hold on to the rest of it. So. All right, so now that we have managed to get a chest down, just to get our inventory clear, all right, we are going to get back in here. And now again, with the rest of our hickory lumber, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a door. It's the traditional Minecraft crafting recipe, but with the hickory lumber. So there we go, hickory door, hickory dickory door. Don't need to have straw no more. There we go, kablam. And then we are going to place that door right there. Now, that's very lovely, but it is still somewhat primitive. So what we're going to do is come back to our chest here, and we're going to grab our pine planks. Um, let's see. Let's grab our hammer, make sure it's in, in our hot bar along with our chisel. We're going to come over here, and we're going to place a pine plank right there. And then we're going to go to the chisel. And you can see on the right end of our, of our hot bar, suddenly there's a little box. Well, this first box is smoothing. It will smooth stone. The second box is for doing stairs, and you can see that it highlights a quarter, or basically an eighth. And if I right-click that eighth, now we've got a nice stair in right here. But unfortunately, our bed is right here too, so we're going to do some things to fix this all up here in a very quick hurry. 
first of all, we're going to knock out this clay. And yes, it's going to expose some daylight, but it's also going to give us the clay we need. Oops, there went our, our shovel, but we got a new shovel just in case. All right, there we go. That's better. And what that means is now we can take and we can pull this out. There we go. Oops, broke that. And we're actually going to gonna move that back one. Pow. We're going to take our axe and we're going to break our bed. And pick up the pieces to everything here. All right, make sure we got no floaters. No floaters. Okay, here we go. Now, we are going to get some stuff done here. So now that we have a, a door up, we're going to make another chest. It's quick and easy. We're going to place that right there. We're just going to... Where's where's our axe here? There it is. Take this and break it. There we go. Pow. And now we've got so much room for stuff. And let's just... We're going to click and click. Whoop. Actually, we do need that. And we do need two of these. One, two. But otherwise, we're just going to click in anything that will leave our inventory. We're just going to dump out of our inventory for a second. Just to, to give us some room so we can see what will fit in there. All right. Absolutely great. So you can see our, our chisel and our hammer fit in there. But our other big tools don't. Those we actually need to do a tool rack for. And we will do a tool rack. But all right. So now just with, with all that stuff out of the way, we will grab our sticks in case we need them. And our stone. But we are now going to make a little bit of a difference here in the world. So, whoops, threw away my axe. Here we go. I'm going to take the time to knock these blocks out. There we go. Go up our stairs. Come on out. Come on up here. And grab this. And here we go. We, you can see these are hickory. That's hickory, that's pine, that's hickory, that's hickory. All right, let's stick this up here, along with our saw. Do that. Actually, we're going to do that. Yeah, buddy, there we go. 32 of those to work with. We shall do this. These are not affected by gravity like so many other things are. And so we can place them freely, just as we would if we were playing vanilla. What I'm doing here is not only going to be very neat in terms of um, being being quick and easy to accomplish. There we go. But in addition, it's actually going to be fairly traditional. So that's kind of a, a happy side effect of the situation. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted though. jumped here. If we do, we're kind of in deep trouble. All right. I'm going to take two of these just to block that, just to keep things out for the moment. We'll get a door up in, in just a moment or two. There we go. All right. Now, you remember I told you that thatch will not support weight. So make sure you're careful how you're moving here as you do this. But we are just doing a nice thatch roof, little cottage, very, whoops, very traditional. Man, I gotta eat. I'm 
gonna run into some real trouble here. You just gotta remember thatch is very flammable. Take a little water. And while we're able to do so, we might as well. If you put the saw and planks in, you'll see you can actually get your lumber back out. I'm gonna do that real quick um, for two reasons. The first is so we can make a door. There go. That way we can just bust these right out of there. Place that. Awesome. And that'll give us a couple more of these to place. Oh, I thought I had one more. Must have fallen outside. But basically, we're making ourselves just a nice, simple, traditional, happy place to be. I have my knife on me. I probably stuck my knife. There it is. Let me see. I probably stuck my knife in the chest downstairs. Keep that up there so we'll go down and get it. I'm not too terribly afraid now. We've been here long enough that we're starting to get some spawn protection. Oh, by golly, we could be there if we can just get the first one in the right place. Black up there too. Okay. Now, as I said, this roof will not keep any mobs out. Period. If a spider climbs up there or anything climbs up there, it'll drop right through. So we do have to bear that in mind. I believe that we were missing one block out here. There we go. And we've got one left, so we'll just leave it be. Get on in there. Well, there we go now. So we need to get some, some glass and we need to adjust these blocks right here. They were just an expedient at that moment. And last but not least, the wood, the wood is gonna be a different color, but well, you can't have everything. there and then what I'll do is I'll actually put a glass block in there we will be able to pass through it Get this dug out correctly here there we go there's our cellar entrance it is time for us to acknowledge this 20 minutes passed and uh, it took me about that long to get my house going here you can see I've got I've got a couple of thatch blocks I've got to get up to finish the roof here on this end for instance but other than that, by golly, I tell you what, it is a rainy night, and uh, lightning just struck right over there, but thankfully the fire got put out by the rain. But, eat a little bit here. Our lovely thatch roof not only is keeping the rain out, but it means that if we need to really take a look at what's going on, we can just step right out through the thatch and take a glance over there. Step right out through the thatch and take a glance out over there. So that's very cool. But I want to show you what I did ultimately where I finished up with the house here so far. So let's just head down the ladder here. Um, the ladder is set up so that we have access to all the floors. Um, the reason I was hanging out up in the loft is because um, obviously we don't have glass in our windows yet and spiders could get in. Uh, everything else is out, so that's okay. But, of course, then we've got the ladder going the rest of the way down into our original hidey hole. We need a block of glass for up here. And we need some glass for some other things. And that really is our mission today if this dad-gummed rain would stop. Because we need to find a supply of sand. Come back up into the loft. We need to find a supply of sand. And we need to... Uh, Get some glass made because I'd like to get some glass in there and some glass in there and um, we're taking advantage of of our shape here with our chest as you can see it opens freely but as you can see I've also got a pretty substantial pile of wood going here 
And the reason for that is because really the next step for us is to set up a forge. And to set up a forge, we're going to need either coal or charcoal. Now, I've not seen any sign of coal anywhere in the area here. And so that means charcoal is our next best bet. So to make charcoal, we have to burn wood in a pit in order to create charcoal. And that's what I'm set up to do. And unfortunately, this rain is delaying us. All right. The rain has stopped just about the same time as the sun has come up. I think by my reckoning, it's been about 30 days. Let's uh, let's actually look at our calendar here. Um, let's see. That's health. There's calendar. So it is the 1st of July. Yeah, the 1st of July, hour 6. All right. Well, let's get on out there to 6 a.m. We're just going to check and make sure we don't have any any creepification going on. Ouch. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. But as you can see, I have dug a pit over here. I have made it 3 by 3 and then dug out one block around it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up some of our wood here. And I'm going to show you something called a wood pile. Now, but a wood pile can be placed anywhere by simply shift right clicking while holding wood in your hand. It will set this funny looking block that basically looks like a stack of logs. Now if I right click it, it's adding wood to that wood pile. And it will take a total of 16 blocks. Now I'm going to shift right click to place another one. All right, but this time I'm going to go to anything other than, than a log, and if I right-click it, you'll see there's actually an interface, and it can hold four blocks in each one. So I can just shift-click, and it'll fill that right up, see? Now, what I'm working on doing here is filling in this layer down here. Come here, you. So again, shift-click, and again, I'm just going to get on anything other than, than the logs get in there and just transfer them in. That is really quick. Really, really quick. So let's just do that again. And let's just transfer these down while we've got them. Now you can milk, mix wood within wood piles. Obviously we are going to need more wood to complete this wood pile. But let's get this last one in place. Here we go. We got 16 there. Shift right click. And just keep right-clicking until the pile is gone. If you right-click past that, you'll start picking logs up if you have wood in your hand. But there we go. So now we've got that in there. What we're going to do is we're going to take this dirt. We're going to shift right-click to place it. Remember, shift and right-click to place it. And then just because it's the way I am. I'm going to fill this in around it and then actually build it up one and that'll help me keep track of what space is actually going to have the charcoal in it. Alright. We'll need this guy though. Alright, so making sure I'm holding on to one dirt block. <clears throat> I am going to get my torches and get one in hand here and I am going to toss it in there. Oh, no. <laughs> my aim with the tossing is just so poor. Okay, let's try this again. Toss it in there. There we go. Now see how it's starting to spark and carry on. Pretty soon it'll burst into big flame. There it goes. Now, once it is doing that, we've got 10 seconds to place that dirt block. There we go. Now, as you can see, see how there's still all these smoke particles coming up? All right, that means it is in there smoldering and slowly but surely becoming charcoal. Hop down in here. Like I say, I like to keep track for myself exactly what space the charcoal actually occupies so I like to put kind of a ring around it, like this. That helps me keep track of it. And there we go. We have charcoal going now. And let's see here. You can see a nice thatch roof. We need sand, guys. What's our time doing? Mmm, sun's almost going down. All right, let's look at our map. Hold the map up is J. I think we're probably gonna have to go all the way over 
yeah, probably all the way over to the ocean in order to, to locate sand. <laughs> 